Sanjaya with love. Care and my kind thoughts, Daddy Guy. The tales of Spencer, Bob and Walter in the forest of Scottsdale. Just being put on the near endangered list, Spencer the platypus decided to explore before his race was wiped out by man's lack of care for nature. So busting a groove, he ventured out, showing the kids how to move, spending, spreading the good word to all he did meet. With his mate Walter, the wombat, they hit the street. Spencer shared with some the spike on the back of his feet. So you have to be careful with the platypus because he has a sharp spike on his foot that's very poisonous. So be always careful. And the activity for this page is to dance. If you feel like having a little boogie, yeah, boy. <laughs> he declared, I want to save the forest from all this destruction. All for greed and consumption. Let's connect, not disrespect, and cherish this incredible country. A song of love and gratitude filled the air from a fern near a big old tree. Like the rays of the morning sunrise, the sky filled with sounds of freedom, expressing that this land, this earth, is their kingdom. So now's the time to sing. I wish all the kids of today could feel the magic of nature as I do. You have to be brave and explore. Hang in the wild. It's such a joy finding new paths through the forest. Making friends with those you meet on the way. Why, I was talking with a kookaburra the other day, and she said, Sing your song, smile and laugh all day long. <laughs> so it's time to have a, a smile and a laugh. Come on, Sonny. <clears throat> Crack your grin, banana smile. <clears throat> Spencer's mate Walter, the wombat, came out from the bushes. I'd like everyone to be happy. Daring to care, Spencer shared. He believed it was a natural state of being. Breathing deeply was important to relax and stay calm, even in stressful times. Doing good things for others always put a smile on his face and those he helped. Eating healthy and exercise were great for well-being. Gratitude and love were the two other ingredients for great. What are you grateful for? Think of 11 things every day that you are grateful for. I'm so grateful for the water. Regularly blessing water I drink. And when I'm at a river or the ocean, here's a little Dr. Omoto inspired prayer that I do. Water, I love you. Water, I respect you. Water, Thank you. Surround yourself with positive people and you'll live a positive life. This is a great prayer to do every day. You can say this prayer to your mother. You can say this prayer to yourself and especially to the water every day. I love you. I respect you. I thank you. You can say it to all your family and your friends. It's a, it's a really good one, Sonny. I really recommend you doing it. Spencer was relaxing by a waterfall one day, and this man named Guy was meditating. That's me, boy. <laughs> Lots of love and peaceful vibes flowing from him in the air. Curious Spencer swam underwater to him and came up just near his feet. I find when I'm in a deep space of love, feeling connected and grateful, I have profound experiences with animals. Once, while doing yoga on a cliff, a butterfly landed on my foot. Go with the flow. Fly into freedom. Life will show you 
the right way. Hey, my name's Badass Billy. I look a bit scary and can be dangerous. This is because I've had a hard life. And nowadays I like the good life. I like to help people out as much as I can. And my advice is the 80s, or you could say 80s. Take the time to think things through totally. Quick choices can lead to problems. My Mike Peek says we need to plant seeds, grow food, and do regen. So if you want to get involved in this, Sonny, you could plant some seeds. Spike, one of Billy's mates, shared, it's important to have boundaries. For if something doesn't feel right, practice saying no. It's healthy to understand what is right for, and wrong for you. Billy says to Spike, My mama always said, do to others how you would like to be treated. Honesty and kindness are key. So every day you could do a kind act for someone. This would be a beautiful thing. So you could do something special for your mom, something special for your family or your friends, or even just someone you meet in the street. Spike noticed far off in the distance a soft-looking little monopo. I love spending time by myself and sometimes it's so relaxing. I ponder about life and appreciate what a blessing it is to be alive. I also think about my favorite things, which makes me feel happy and safe. Put your hand on your heart. Smile like a banana and breathe deeply for as much as you can every day. This is a really powerful technique to well-being. I do this every day, sometimes for two hours in the morning, and it just makes such a difference. The more love you can feel in your heart, the better life is, I believe. So I really encourage you, Sonny, to, to do this every day as much as you can. Surround yourself with positive people and you will live a positive life with happiness, wisdom and freedom. Sharing is caring, creating good vibes. You create your own reality. For some, this is soft, comfortable and like living in a cloud. A dreamland where everything is divine. Do your own way, but never hurt any other one by your doings. What are your dreams? It's always good to dream. Keep on dreaming. The more we dream, the more we can make it come true. Every day, may we pray that all beings are full of love and deeply grateful. Content living sustainably with respect and to others and to the environment. Feeling completely connected and loved. Aware of the sacred gift to be present, let go, and surrender to the highest good. Say this blessing in your own words with every meditation. This is a Vipassana Metta blessing. I also do this with my meals and the drinks that I have. It's beautiful just to give grace, to say thank you to the earth, thank you to the people that prepared it, thank you to the people that brought the food to you, and especially thank you to the water and the sun. The end. Oh, Sonny, I really hope that uh, you enjoy this story and that you can learn from it and you can do these practices and that it makes you really happy and full of love. I love you, Daddy Guy.